Okay. Solder brazing. Necklace. Not necklace, but you can use it for necklace, but uh tennis bracelet type findings with the pad. Flat pad on top. I'm not sure if you can see. Where I would apply the solders right there. Well, first I'm going to use a liquid flux. Apply it to the surface of the place we're or finding where I'm going to apply the solder. This is using lead free silver solder. Small amounts of silver in it. And it stays brighter, silver color. Using a small pencil torch. Has a little electric start. You can get these from Harbor Freight, pretty reasonable. Heating up the surface. Apply a little bit of solder. Let it spread a little bit. Then, I take the bullet shell head that I cut. Apply the liquid flux to the back of it. I have to be careful not to burn my fingers, but I'll line the font of the lettering on the head of the shell where it lines up with the rest of the other shells the way I put them. Try to center this on the pad here. Sometimes it's good to use a little metal clip of some sort to hold the shell head down to the pad, but sometimes with this, all things go right. Just going to draw the solder up along the bottom of the shell head. Move the flame over slowly, not to heat it up all in one place, but to get overall slight and gradual heating through the middle of the shell head. There, I drew it up, it set down on it. I'm going to let it cool for a sec and then I'll move on to the next pad finding. And of course these uh, bracelets come with 12 pad findings on them. So it's doing this times 12 after cleaning and cutting the shells of course, then popping out the little spent primer caps so I can have that hole setting to be able to place a flat back crystal and set that. But first, after I get done with this, it's on to cleaning it. So uh, your adhesives or what, what you'd use, I like to use JB Weld, actually JB Quick, to be able to set each crystal. So um, it's process times 12. Thanks for watching.